Vanmir, literally translated as Temple of Literature, is dedicated to Confucius in Hanoi, northern Vietnam. The temple was built in 1070 at the time of Emperor Li Tan Tong, and it hosted the Imperial Academy, Vietnam's first national university, from 1076 to 1779. The temple is located to the south of Imperial Citadel of Thang Long. The bell located above the main gate was used to signify that an important person was coming through and was added to the Van Mure in the 19th century. The bell was made out of bronze and could only be touched by monks. The gate opens to three pathways which continues through the complex. The center path was reserved for the monarch and above the center path there is a big bronze bell. The path to the left is for the administrative mandarins and the path to the right is for military mandarins. The interior of the site is divided into five courtyards. The first two courtyards are quiet areas with ancient trees and trimmed lawns where scholars would relax away from the bustle of the outside world. In the first and second courtyards there are topiaries or bushes that are cut into particular shapes that represent the twelve zodiac animals in Chinese astrology. The second courtyard is known as the Great Central Courtyard, or sometimes a courtyard of great success. It features the Kue Wan Pavilion, a unique architectural work built in 1805 and a symbol of present-day Hanoi. Wow. Avatar 3. The Kue Wan Pavilion is built on four whitewashed stone stills. The top is red colored with two circular windows and an elaborate roof. Inside a bronze bell hangs from the ceiling to be rung at auspicious occasions. This pavilion is featured on the back of the 100,000 Vietnamese Dong banknote. Many poetic phrases preserved on the pavilion glorify Vietnamese traditional culture. Beside the Kue Wan Pavilion are the Suk Wan Gate and the B1 gate. These two gates are dedicated to the beauty of literature, both its content and its form. One enters the third courtyard from the Kuai Wan pavilion. In the third courtyard is a Tian Quang well. On either side of the well stand two great halls which house the treasures of the temple. The construction of the stone stella began in 1484 under the Emperor Le Tran Tong. He erected 116 stairs of carved blue stone turtles with elaborate motives to honor talent and encourage study. The turtle is one of the nation's four holy creatures. The others are the dragon, the unicorn and the phoenix. The turtle is a symbol of longevity and wisdom. The shape and size of the turtle change with the passage of time. One enters the fourth courtyard through the Dai Tan Gate. On either side are two small gates. Kim Tan Gates and the Nok Chan Gate. This courtyard is the ceremonial heart of the complex. On each side of the ceremonial fourth courtyard stand two halls. Their original purpose was to house altars to the 72 most honored disciples of Confucius and Chu Wan An, a rector of the Imperial Academy. In the center of the fourth courtyard is the House of Ceremonies, Tai Pai Duong. Van Mio, or the Temple of Literature, is one of several temples in Vietnam which is dedicated to Confucius, Sargis and scholars. The various pavilions, halls, statues and stone monuments of doctors are places where offering ceremonies, study sessions and the strict exams of Dai Viet took place. Dai Viet was a monarchy in Southeast Asia from the 10th century AD to the early 19th century centered around the region of present-day Hanoi. The 
The next building is the Zhuang Yan, where Confucius and his four closest disciples, Yang Hui, Seng Shen, Si Si, and Mencius, are worshipped. The sanctuary also hosts altars to ten honored philosophers. These pavilions reflect the style of the early 19th century. A small museum displays inkwells, pens, books, and personal artifacts belonging to some of the students that studied at the temple. In 1946, the courtyard was destroyed during the first Indochina War. In the year 2000, the fifth courtyard was reconstructed on grounds of the original Imperial Academy. Van Mier was built in 1070 and was reconstructed during the Tran Dynasty, 1225 to 1400, and in the subsequent dynasties. For nearly two centuries, despite wars and disasters, the temple has preserved ancient architectural styles of many dynasties as well as precious relics. Major restorations have taken place in 1920, 1954 and 2000. On our way back, strolling slowly through the five courtyards and gates, we were gripped by an inner peace and quiet and let the thoughts of Confucius and his wisdom and teachings be slowly processed in both our minds. We had learned a lot about the philosophy, architecture and lifestyle in earlier dynasties of ancient Vietnam, Thai Viet. Vietnam has taken good care of its history and we have gained a good impression of a proud, hospitable and friendly people. On our way out the main gate, we decided to go to the Ho Chi Minh mausoleum that was just two kilometers north of the Temple of Literature. The weather was nice with a pleasant temperature, so we walked the short distance. <laughs> 